Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I generally like to talk about analog media on this channel, and I guess you could say today's video is kind of analog, but we're talking about the Fujifilm Instax SQ6. Now, this is a Polaroid style picture camera, and I picked it up for my wife uh, a couple years ago for her birthday, and I think I picked it up at Walmart. They don't sell it, at least at my Walmart anymore, they don't sell it anymore. But I think I paid like 130 bucks for it. I figured uh, I'd go through it and uh, kind of uh, show you what it's all about. So this is, like I said, a Polaroid style picture camera. Um, it you know, takes the picture and then it will actually print it out at the top there. It'll, it'll just be white and then it slowly develops a picture. And a lot of the pictures that you see on the uh, box, um, if you look at it on Amazon, they look like they're taken with like a DSLR. And what's cool about this is it gives it, gives your pictures a very kind of 90s look to it. And it's really fun to use because you don't really know how they're gonna turn out until they fully develop. And they always seem to have a very retro look to them. So they're really fun. I'll show you some of my examples I have on my corkboard wall that me and my wife have taken when we've gone to different uh, trips and stuff. They're all very retro themed. Not themed, but they're very, they just, that's just how they look. This camera takes the square version of the Instax film. Uh, you get 10 per package or case of film that comes in it. I think they're about 20 bucks each. And I know a lot of times you can get two packs for like 40 bucks or something like that which is pretty expensive, but if you really only use it for special occasions and stuff, uh, you can definitely save a lot of your film that you have. So you also have your on off switch right here. Obviously powers it on and off. And when you turn it on, it will extend out like that. So that way you know when it is on or it's off. On the right side, up here you have your I guess uh, viewfinder which you would look through like so and take a picture it's definitely kind of hard to see through if you're a little bit older um, you've probably used flip phones back in the day and do you remember like the little mirror on the back side of it like where the camera was this has that same thing right here so you kind of you get yourself in that little mirror and that will tell you if you pretty much you're in frame for a selfie. And yeah, this has a selfie mode onto it, on it, which I'll get to in just a second. Um, it has your flash up here, up at the front. Now, when you get this camera, it will come with little filters for the flash. I think there's like a, a red one, a green one, and a blue one, which when you take the picture and it flashes, it'll kind of change the, the color of the picture that you just took. I We've never really messed around with that just cause I feel like that's a very, kind of a kid thing, I guess, for like young teenagers to play around with. We we threw the, all that stuff away with the box. So yeah, we didn't really keep that. But if that's something you're into and you wanna get some different looking effects with your pictures, you can definitely just, they just slide right over the, the lens of the uh, flash and it's snapped on and good to go. On the front as well, you got this button right here. That is your, uh, your picture button, you push that and it takes the picture. Simple as can be. When you first turn it on, it'll be on the automatic mode. And then on the bottom left down here, you have your mode button, which when you push that, it will highlight these little lights up here indicating which mode you are in. So you push it and it'll just cycle through each one every time you push mode. So it has a auto mode, selfie mode. I know one of them's like landscape and portrait. Uh, you have the, uh, I don't know what the, uh, the double square one is, but then you have a uh, linear mode and I wanna say dark mode, or maybe it's light mode and dark mode. I don't know. I've never really used those, so I don't really know exactly what they're for. I generally shoot on the automatic mode or the selfie mode. You have a timer button. You can set that to, I think there's a few different intervals that you can do on there. And you can turn the flash on and off. So anytime you turn the camera on, it is automatically already on flash mode, uh, or the flash is already on. So if you're in daylight, you can turn that off. There's a little light uh, right above the button uh, indicating that it is off if you 
push it and then it'll the light will be off if the light is on it's, it's kind of kind of dumb but yeah <laughs> on the back here this is the well that is your film door here um, that's where you put your cartridge in for your pictures and you have this little indicator here letting you know if you are out of film you also have this little window right here that will have uh, intervals or numbers, I guess, um, zero through 10. Um, so if it's on 10, you should have a full uh, cartridge of film and then it just goes down from there. So it lets you know how many is actually left in there. And I think this thing just runs off of AA batteries. We've used it quite a bit over the past, I don't know, two, maybe three years. And it is, not ran out of batteries yet, I don't believe. And it comes with this Fujifilm lanyard, which is, I wanna say it's fake leather, pleather. <laughs> but yeah, at least it comes with a, a lanyard with it so you can, you know, put it on there and go to tourist attractions. <laughs> this little door on the side here, you can see this little tab. That is the, where, oh wait, no. It doesn't actually take double-A batteries. It takes uh, whatever size little batteries those are. They're like the size of double-A's, but they're like half or like three-quarters of the length of a double-A. Like I said, I've never had to change these batteries out before, so. And the last thing that I will show you on this is uh, you can put it on a tripod if you want. So it's got threads on the bottom for a tripod. Um, kind of a weird spot for uh, the tripod threads to be. It's on the very right side, I'm guessing. That way you can get to this easily. I don't know, kind of weird, but yeah, this is a really fun, well, not a video camera, it's a picture camera. So something that you can buy your kids or uh, like I did, I bought my wife this for her birthday a couple years ago. And then I bought her some, uh, some tacks and, tacks, a Sharpie and uh, a cork board and she has, kept track of all of the pictures that she's taken for all of our trips. Well, not all of our trips, but a lot of our big trips that we've been on and we have those memories hung up on the wall. So that's kind of a, a fun idea for you if that's something you wanna do. So yeah, if you want this camera, I will le leave a link in the description. It comes in a few different colors. It comes in uh, this like rose gold color. It comes in like a kind of a silvery blue color. It comes in like a gray color and a black color I believe so four different colors and the link will have uh, a version of of it with uh, it comes with the Instax uh, square picture film with it it does make the the bundle a little bit more expensive but it just makes it easier for you so you don't have to go out and try and find what picture film goes with it it just comes right there with it I figured that this is a Pretty fun little camera to show you. A little bit different from my other style videos. Hope y'all have a good day out there and hopefully this video was informative and we'll see you in the next video.